everyone, it is August 9th, and I am your friendly neighborhood crocheter, Jenny's Hobbies. So, welcome to my channel, and if you're returning, welcome back, and if you're new, welcome back again. So, what have I been up to? Well, I did finish crocheting that little helicopter. Now, before I show it to you, I should tell you that I sent it off to my uh, nephew for his new baby. Only it went to the wrong address. Thankfully, and this is a little advice for any of you sending off crocheted items that you have put a ton of time into, always send them signature required. Yes, it's a couple extra dollars, but believe me, if I didn't send this package signature required, I might not have ever seen it again. So, because it was signature required, the people were not able to sign for it uh, because they're not their names are not on the package. Anyhow, so it came back to me. I have the correct address now for my nephew. So, <clears throat> without further ado, here is a tiny helicopter. There's the, the windshield, and then that's, and the tail has a little peak right here. I don't know if it's showing up really well on camera, but kind of looks like he could have come from the movie Cars, you know, with the big windshield eyes. And it's got the four propeller blades on top. So it's definitely not a no-sew pattern. There are 10 pieces, but eh, it's worth it for to make a young boy happy. And I'll probably make a couple more. But my only issue is this turquoise, which was a very old version of Craftsmart. I don't have enough left, I don't think, to make another one of these. So, I'm on the hunt for a really good turquoise match to this. If anyone has any ideas, please leave them in the comments below. I know I saw it on a video recently. It, was either Rose Likes Crochet or Happy to Hook Creations. Somebody had turquoise yarn. I don't remember which one. Anyhow, so <clears throat> then I was almost out of stuffing, that polyfill stuffing. And I haven't bought it for about four years. And Joanne's had it on sale for 50% off. So I got a new 10 pound box of that. Because really I maybe could make two or three more dolls. And that's it. And I thought, well, you know, while I'm ordering from Joanne's, I will go out of my comfort zone, which is four weight yarn. And I will get some Bernat baby blanket and maybe make some of these things that I see other creators making. <sighs> so, I did. I bought, uh, let's see, five different colors. And one was just solid green. That's the Bernat baby blanket because I wanted to make some of those leggy frogs for my um, great nephews. And some of them are really small, uh, my nephews, not, not the frogs. Um, so that's what I used up the whole skein of green forest, 220 yards. I used a pattern by Joe Webb, or Joe's Webb, and so here's one of them. 
I got six of these out of one skein and there was some left over but I didn't think there was enough to make another one and I didn't have anything to match it so I made one little green scrunchie and one little ball and I have none left. So okay now that I'm done with this I'll toss it to the cats. We'll see if they play with it. I don't know. Anyhow, then today, uh, well today the polyfill came and the rest of my yarn came. So I am out of that green as I said, but this green came. And this one is called Zing Dot. So I can make a couple more leggy frogs out of this. And so I've got that. And then I got this one here, which I think is Strawberry Dot. Yeah. I won't be making frogs out of this. I really got this to make like some scrunchies for my great nieces. And I made, now I got this skein of yarn, uh, I don't know, maybe earlier this week. And it is called uh, Pixie Dot. And I made, I think, eight scrunchies so far with it. And this is the ball that I have left. Yeah, so I made a whole bunch of scrunchies. These will go to my uh, great nieces. And, you know, I'm not sure I bought a, a really good uh, elastic band for the inside because these, these aren't real, real stretchy. But anyways, I'll let them figure it out. And then my final skein of yarn is this one called Purple Sunset. Again, I'll make some scrunchies out of those. And then whatever's left over with those, I will probably make into some squares and eventually have enough to put together a, a baby blanket. So that's what I've been working on with crochet. Now I have to tell you about the avocado trees. We have three avocado trees on the property. I shouldn't say we, because it's not my property, it's my landlady's property, but I'm the one who takes care of the gardens. Anyhow, uh, one of the trees is, is very big and mature, and the other day I went out to water it, and I noticed one of the branches had broken off, which happens when uh, fruit trees can get really heavy with fruit. So I tried to save the fruit that was on there. Now it's about three months early for harvesting that fruit. At least three months. But the, uh, well maybe the smallest ones are now are like the size of chicken eggs and there are bigger ones on there but they are not ready for harvest at all. Anyhow uh, it wasn't a huge branch but there had to have been at least 25 pounds of um, immature avocados on there and I'll post a picture here of those 25 pounds. So we're trying to see if any of them will ripen but I don't think so. They they can get soft but they not edible soft. They it's, it's hard to describe. They just, they don't ripen correctly. So it's like picking a really green tomato and expecting it to turn red on your counter. It's not going to happen. You, they have to develop a, a little bit of pink before you pick them. Uh, yeah, you just don't want to pick a dark green tomato. So, anyhow. So we lost the whole branch and... There's plenty of avocados still out there. 
one of the trees is kind of smaller and not real immature. I cut it way back maybe a year ago because the landlady was, was going to completely throw it out. And I said, no, 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 no. You know, let me give it a, a good haircut because it kind of looked like a giant cousin it. And avocado trees can look real shaggy if you don't keep up with them. And so I cut it to look like an actual little tree. Well, they've got tons of blossoms on it. And it has some avocados. It has dropped a lot. Um, but I, it, it still has some. They're hard to see because they're the same color as the leaves and they kind of hide behind the leaves. So real hard to see. It's not like a, a peach or an apple tree. It's, you know, the avocados are just a different animal, so to speak. Anyhow, um, that's what's going on. We've had triple digit weather. I don't have anything growing in my raised beds right now, so it's way too hot for that. And I really won't plant anything again until mid-October. Uh, for one thing, because that critter, I don't know what the critter is. It could be that the critter was the respon or responsible for breaking that branch. I mean, if it was a big raccoon that got up in that tree and got onto that branch, he could have broken the branch. As I have seen some massive raccoons but who knows it, it didn't seem like the branch was so heavy with fruit that it would break off but stranger things have happened anyhow I won't be planting anything in raised beds until October I think it's got to cool down a little bit and then I think I might devote a couple of the raised beds just to flowers um, for the bees and for to help with pollination of other plants so we'll see we'll see how that goes anyhow that's just a short video to let you know what's going on and I hope you have a great weekend and I'll talk to you soon bye bye